Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Today's video, we're going to have a little look at a post that Mars Girl has recently put out on Facebook. And going by this post, I hope it's true. And if she can do this, then it would be great. And again, first of all, people, please stop the body shaming. Stop just sending nasty things to people about certain things. And just don't do it, alright? It's, it's not exactly nice. And... You're showing that you are acting like a child yourself. This is for both sides. The I stand with Vic and the kick Vic. Come on, we're all all uh, meant to be adults. So let's act that way, okay? So, the Mars Girl post uh, it was on Facebook and it's saying, I was away from the internet for the majority of the day yesterday and did not realise that there was an outpouring of people who were being supportive of me the last two days. Thank you very much for your kindness. Thank you to those of you who have gone out of your way to find my social media through here on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. I am shocked but feeling much better than I have been in a long, long time. I realise that I have not always been a perfect person. I realise that there are even things that I said and did almost 10 years ago that I regret having said or done. I have had a history of ignorance, of hurting other people and those are things that I regret very much. I don't expect forgiveness for those things. All I can do is continue to move on and hopefully be a better person to the people who show up in my life next. You will look me up and you will see a lot of people trying to paint a picture of me one way or the other. I don't blame you for making decisions based on those things that you've seen. You have to do what is best for you. But I'd also suggest you attempt to take things into context and verify who exactly is saying what and why. I will not elaborate further on that as it seems unnecessary. If you're new to me, thank you for visiting. A lot of cosplayers have showed up these last two days and I very infrequently cosplay, but I do sometimes and I do it out of love, a desire to have fun and to be with family and friends having a good time. People will cosplay for different reasons, every reason is a valid one. Just no ones where people do it to deliberately hurt someone else. Thank you to those of you who have proven that the cosplay community is not all ugly. This comes in waves every so often. I've been in and out of the community for over 15 years and have seen a lot of things happen that have made me question whether or not it's worth it to participate. But today I feel emboldened to revisit cosplay again. Thank you for making me feel like I can still revisit it and sometimes call it my home. I look forward to making more posts and content very soon and to speaking with all of you more. I'm glad that I'm still here. I hope you're all doing well. Well, it's actually a really nice. It is actually a really nice post from Mars Girl. I, I will say that it's a, it's a nice post, and it actually shows that hopefully that she's realised what's happened and she would be like, right, okay, people are getting the wrong idea, certain things are being brought up and like, no, we've all changed and let's just move on with our lives. Which, I'm all for, 100% I'm for with that. I'm, I'm on his side for this. And, I say, over the last couple of weeks, we have seen so much shit coming from both sides and it's almost like we're all forgetting what we're actually here for. In this little community of ours at the moment. We're here to support obviously well. The I stand with Vic is here to support Vic. And the other side is to get Vic. Make him accountable for what he's done. So with that in mind. And with what Mars Girl has posted here. Obviously she said there's few things have happened in the past. And she's apologised for all that. Yep again. Everyone changes. You know when you know when they're growing up, when they're between the well teenage years basically, and uh, up to the age of around twenty odds, a lot of people do stupid things, a lot of stupid things. I've done things in my past that I look back on. And I'm like, yeah, I wish I never done that. And I'm pretty sure the majority of people have as well. The ones who come to this channel, the ones who read and like tweets and watch the videos. But that sort of thing there with the history, it kind of rolls into a message I had yesterday on one of the videos. 
it was in regards to someone saying that because Vic is going through this, that automatically I'm siding with him because he's a white man. And it's like, well, actually, no. And because he brought up Bill Cosby and uh, Kelly and for what they've done. And again, it just goes to show that this guy, he was just looking for a fight because he just said, oh, just because he's a white guy, he's sticking up for him. So automatically he brought race into it. And he was he was looking for a fight. We know this. or And I didn't reply to him. I was like, well, I'm not going to reply to you. There's no point. And it's obvious that he hasn't actually listened or watched any of my previous videos. Because I actually do go on about Bill Cosby. About how he's going through prison at the moment for something that Cardi B has done. And she's actually come out... And proved it that she, you know, she used to drug people and she used to promise them sex, but she drugged them and stole their money. And, but everyone is praising her for saying it. It's like, well, Bill Cosby, he drugged people and he's going through all that. But with Bill Cosby, the funny thing with that is that these girls, you know, some of them said that they kept going back to him. It's like, well, if you kept going back to him, then, after the first time has happened, why did you keep going back to him? You know, there's tons of things like that. And I said it before, and again, I only made this channel in the beginning of February. So, Bill Cosby and everything else was way in the past. I've done the Jesse Smollett. I was going to talk about R. Kelly. But people on this uh, page, they don't want to hear about R. Kelly. So, I'm not going to talk about him. But when someone who is in court... And he's getting, you know, again, for all this sexual harassment things against him. And they don't turn up to court. Then you automatically lose the case. And he's guilty. Because that's what happened to R. Kelly. You know? It's... And plus, I'm not a fan of R. Kelly. You know, I don't like his music. Because I'm not r and It's not my type of music. But... Going back to the Mars Girl post. Everything in this here is... I hope she uh, sticks to it and, you know, I'd happily have a conversation with her and, uh, you know, have a debate. But she would need to not keep blocking people because the way she's going on at this moment in time is she's saying she wants to have conversations with people. But as soon as that person's opinion is different to hers, she automatically blocks them. We've seen this the last couple of days. A lot of tweets have gone out. People have gone to her and they've just literally been blocked for no... Oh, excuse me. For no reason. If she can get past that and, you know, and start having conversations with people, that'd be brilliant. I'd happily have a conversation with her about this. Well, you know, again, I'd like her to point out you know, her views and you know what, how she's come to that conclusion for her opinion on that Vic is guilty and I'd happily speak about my opinion and why I think at this moment in time that he's not guilty you know I'd happily have a conversation with anybody about this but we're going to come to the end of the video here but what I would like to add here is we're nearly reaching 2,000 subscribers and I am so happy that I've got a lot of this uh, support and I thank each and every one of you who watches the videos and who has subscribed. And what I was thinking of doing is when we hit 2000, I was thinking of doing a little giveaway and we'll see what we can do and hopefully it'll be something brilliant. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates and I'll see you soon.